Hey guys, Paul here from Surf Ready Fitness. Um, today I'm going to go over um, the aerobic paddling exercise that you're going to be doing with your resistance bands and a stability ball. So you're going to see this movement um, in the phase three program of the Surf Performance 2.0 uh, program. So I'm going to show you what the setup looks like. Okay, first off, figure out how much tension you need with the bands. Um, I like a good amount of tension, but not too much tension that it's actually going to pull me forward off the ball. And then you're going to want to make sure that you attach your bands, I don't know, maybe seven feet high or something like that. You don't want them too high, but you also don't want them too low. Okay, so set up. This is how I do it. I'm going to place both handles in one hand, and I'm going to come down to my knees. And then I'm just going to lay across the ball. So I want to make sure that my chest is kind of up over the ball, similar to lying on your surfboard. So you want to get that good prone position. Glutes are engaged. My body's in a straight line. Also, my feet are together, okay? Then from here, I want to make sure that I tuck my chin. I don't want a strained neck, which is really common when paddling. So we want to essentially just tuck that chin so we keep our neck in neutral position, okay? So for the aerobic paddling portion, all we're doing, guys, is just paddling for the allotted time in the program. So all you want to focus on here is just making sure that your form is good. You're taking big long strokes and you have tension in the bands the whole time. Don't sacrifice your form just to get a couple extra reps in. Just paddle for the allotted time that it recommends. You're good to go.